Welcome back to Brew Review Winnipeg. Welcome back to our standard series where we review just the benchmark and the pinnacle iconic beer series. Today we're going to be doing the lager. Last week or some time ago we did the, the Guinness Stout and we thought that was like this is what a good stout should taste like. Today we're going to be doing a lager. Switch it up a little bit while it's still warm out here in uh, this late time of the year. And we're going to do a Stella Artois. We chose that as kind of like this is what a good lager should taste like. So yeah, it's, uh, it's only... doesn't say. I assume it's only like 5% alcohol, 5% alcohol. It'll set you back, I think, like $2.25 at the MLS. Yeah, brewed in Belgium. Belgium has really good beers, especially like darker ales, because they got all that like roasty fruit in them and, and like dried dates and stuff, super good. Uh, so let's crack this bad boy open and uh, see how she goes. I love that sound. Here comes the pour. Look at the color on that. So because we're doing polar opposites, we got uh, beautiful, clean, crisp, clear lager right here, and uh, she is rather carbonated. So let's give this bad boy a go. That's what I'm talking about. It's uh, because it's a lager, they don't throw too much of anything in it. It doesn't have too much hops, it doesn't have an overabundance of malt, and it has a very easy drinking taste. Lagers are what I would recommend to anyone to start drinking if you don't like beer or if you're new at drinking beer and you want to more discover stuff. Start yourself off with the lager. Um, with this particular lager, it is, it's got that brightness factor to it. Uh, it doesn't have any notes of like citrusy or any sort of that. They're not messing around. But with Stella, you get a good clean cut, easy drinkability to it. And uh, you get actually a fairly good malt presence on this. Like I'm really surprised. I can really taste the good malted barley that they use in here. And uh, I'm, I'm rather enjoying this. So I'm going to give this bad boy again just a 7.5, 8 out of 10 because it was better than I was expecting. Yeah. I will pick this up again. So that's a good lager, but with lagers, I mean, you can do a lot of different things. You can do like uh, Rattlers, you can do uh, like Rosemary Lager, I've seen that done before. You can do like a Blueberry Lager, you can do your Apple Lager, but a lot of the times they'll probably tend to be fruitier, like a Lime Lager, Bud Light Lager. Yeah, lots of that sort of stuff. Yeah, so, on that bombshell, thank you for watching and have a good week, aka Brew On. I am so awkward right now. You don't even know.